this is a new suit for him. That guy spends as much time in that suit as he does taking photos of the suits. He takes photos of the suits as often as he's in the suit. He's a very good photographer. Is this a once a year thing? Um, yes, this is actually the second year for this particular location. Um, I think they have about, they're estimating 300 to 500 attendees this year. Uh, the largest one in the world is up in Pittsburgh and has almost 5,000 attendees. Whoa. It was late June this year. Some of them make their own. Some of them actually make suits for other people and do fairly good business for them. Actually, I got a friend that moved down from Canada as a professional costume maker and has commissions to make them for businesses and small schools as well as individuals. Cool. So some of them make yeah. them for as little as you know two to four hundred dollars. Some of them make them for threatening yeah. three to four thousand dollars. It really depends on how complicated your design is and how much time you want to put into it. You get, uh, say, someone who's got a tiger suit, you can do this two ways. You can airbrush the stripes onto a white suit. You can also do alternating stitching and stitch stripes into it. That would cost you. If you all want to jump in in the... Right there, go. Go! No? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.